Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel, BYOB Experience. Remember, BYOB is not about getting rich. It's about being responsible and a good steward of whatever we have. In this video, I will share to you the time for me to buy businesses that we love to own. Of course, if you listen to my previous videos, especially the main content of this channel, only a portion of my net income will go to investment for children, education, or retirement. And this money is uh, also considered as money spent, same as money spent for our basic needs, entertainment, and charity, which is actually an investment too, if you look at it a little bit deeper. You know, we all, we, we all know we only live once, right? So we let the future worry itself. Because nobody knows the future except Him. We live today for the glory of God and not for ourselves. So we don't worry what will happen uh, to our investment because it's already spent that day. Same as money is spent for our basic needs, entertainment, and charity. All of them, basic needs, entertainment, children's education, retirement, and charity, all of them gives return on different ways in the future. And all of them too are gone the moment you spend them. So, so I considered it that way. That money spent is gone. You know, when I start buying businesses, I buy all that's in on my main watch list. Of course, not all at once because we only use a portion of our net income. And that's not me. Eh? <laughs> you know, through our prayers and asking for guidance, he showed me books and articles in the internet that gives me comfort of what I am doing right now. Now, I use two strategies to buy a business. One is, I'll buy when the market, of, market value of a business that we love and in our watch list is close to their 52 weeks low. You might ask, does it take a long time to browse which one of my watch list is on 52 weeks low? The answer is no. It's only take a minute or less. And in less than five minutes, you already spent your money and become part owner of the business that you love. Thanks to the tools provided by our main brokerage, there's a lots of them for you to use, for me to use. And it's an awesome uh, brokerage. It's been like number one for a while. I love it. It's a little bit more expensive, but you can find ways how to minimize it. So, so it's all good. And this here, and the second one is, uh, I buy below the fair value of the business, regardless of its 52 weeks performance. Take note, we buy from two different value, the market value and the fair market value of the business. Market value and the fair value of the business. Uh, you can go ahead, Google the difference of market value and fair value of the business. Or you can wait for my own uh, word about the two value on my upcoming video. But it up, it's up to you. You might ask, how do I know the fair value of the business? Well, I'll share it to you on the next video too. But for the second strategy to buy, it's a little bit complicated because we're using uh, alert notification tools from our brokerage or any pre-financial website. You can get that one too. And you, we also do a little bit of computation just to compare our own computation for per value to what the professionals say or any computer-generated uh, pair value. My question here, who among us buy anything above a uh, regular 
price on clothes, gadgets, or appliances, etc. For me, I don't. As much as possible, I avoid paying regular price and try to buy them when it's on sale. Same I will do on the businesses that I want to own. Notice? Notice them on my two strategy. I buy them low and below. Right? That's it for this video. Thanks for watching or listening. And if you have something to share, just write it in the comment section below. And if, if you got motivated on this video, just click like and share. And still, if you're not confident in doing it by yourself, always talk to the professionals on this matter. They're there to help you. Yeah, that's it for now. Thank you very much again. Bye for now. Let's go and multiply, BYOBers.